Since the war in Ukraine broke out in February, concern over the trafficking of women and children has been widely followed. In June, the issue was addressed at the UN Security Council. For predators and human traffickers, war is not a tragedy. It is an opportunity. Women and children fleeing the conflict are being targeted for trafficking and exploitation, in some cases facing further exposure to rape and other risk while seeking refuge. The vast majority of Ukrainians fleeing the war escape through Poland. While they are mostly welcomed, authorities have confirmed cases of criminals wandering through the border points and train stations. Police in Romania and here in Poland say they have set up checkpoints to search suspicious cars and people at all border crossings. Even here at Krakow main train station, they've got eyes everywhere. Signs around train stations warn people about the threat of human traffickers, yet unknown men can still be seen holding signs to different EU cities, offering a free ride to a possible safe house. You always feel scared, especially when you don't know where and why you're going somewhere. We were lucky. We didn't experience anything bad, but we heard a lot of stories about it. That's why we asked people we knew and volunteers we could trust. Be careful and take care of yourself. Don't ask strangers because if they offer something, especially for free, it can be really dangerous. Words echoed by human rights groups working to inform and save these women from potential threats. They flush out the most beautiful girls and offer them a super lucrative job, often with accommodation or just accommodation in some very pleasant place. All you have to do is get them into the car. Across the EU, those concerned have been active on social media and in areas populated by Ukrainian refugees, handing out flyers and informing them about a 24-hour helpline. Germany's federal police have tweeted in both Ukrainian and Russian not to accept offers of overnight stays, while signs can be seen at many of Germany's main train stations warning new arrivals to go straight to the police if they come across anyone suspicious. Forced immigrants are experiencing a lot of trauma and are in crisis. They are leaving their lives, often to a country where they have never been before, which adds to the stress. So it's hard to expect these people, women, to take care of themselves, which is why we try so hard to do. Dobroska says the number of cases is impossible to know meaning those who are potentially most at risk have to be well informed about the dangers in order to minimize their vulnerability. Natalie Carney for CGTN, Krakow, Poland.